So um, we're yeah. going to do like a, a rolling Sodi Jimé. Okay, so Sodi sleeve. The idea here is you get a hold of the outside corner of your sleeve, and you're going to create a, a choking motion by trying to put your palms together. You're almost like creating from a square down to a triangle. And in between that triangle is the guy's neck. Normally, it's direct. You know, you wrap your hands around and then you flip around like that. So there's nothing in between. Today, what we're going to do is we're going to do it off of a right position. We're going to come up underneath uh, one of the two sides of the arms. And we'll, we'll do it both ways. Just because some people prefer one way or the other, okay? All right, so the first important part is we're gonna get a hook. Doesn't matter which way we're gonna poke our hand up diagonally and choke, we're always gonna get a hook first. So I'm gonna start with the far side hook, because that's the side down. Okay? So as we come through, I'm gonna catch that hook right there. Same side hand is gonna come up at an angle underneath the armpit. Pop through there, and I'm gonna catch my sleeve. This hand comes up right on the other side of his neck. Okay? So I'm gonna, I'm not gonna roll like this, I'm just doing this so you can kind of see where my hands are. Okay? Hands come up through here. Can you okay. lift up just a bit, Derek, there so we can see that? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we're, we're through here initially. This hand comes up on this side. I like sticking my thumb in the sleeve and grabbing. You can also grab like that, like pistol grip style. It really doesn't matter, okay? But for me, if I'm already doing this anyways, it's a real easy grab with your thumb, okay? This hand comes up on this side. This one pulls in tight right there, all right? And then the finish is you just try and put your hands together like that. The inside part of your sleeve chokes him, and then your hand on that side chokes him, all right? Okay. Hook, slide through, catch, tight. Okay, I'm gonna post on my head and bring this foot forward, and then we're gonna head roll. Whoops. There we go. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I land like this, just in our, how we normally would in our head roll juji. His arm is even in the same spot. The only difference is I've now got the choke locked in, and it's a simple finish. Show us that finish right there. And st stay down, Ryan, if you could. And uh, this time, stay down and just, yeah. Show that finish. Can everybody come over here and see this, everybody? Look the finish. See how you always want to roll and finish on your buttocks, as, Eric, or as Derek is showing you there. And see how the one leg is over and that's trapping, the one leg is under, and he's just stuck there. And you finish with that nice. Most of the time with these chokes, if we're doing a lapel choke like a katahachi made from here, you can follow up with your foot to block the far shoulder, but because you're choking with your own sleeve, you don't ever have to, to apply anything else. He can even be holding this arm right here. And you're still gonna get it, okay? So you don't have to put this forward usually. But that left leg is helped draped over there at the torso of the body yeah. to, to, to trap. That's this a good part trap. Is important. What I don't want is him flipping out of this, okay? Because then he's out of the choke. So this foot right here keeps him from being able to turn out. And if he does turn towards me, now I can use that foot. Can you show one more time and we'll, then we'll. All right. we'll. <laughs> That's it, nice finish, okay. And that's really just a, you call it rolling sode jume. Rolling sode jume. Sode, sode sleeve, rolling sleeve choke. Very that's clever, a very I mean, clever move. It doesn't need a fancy name, it's already pretty much got it. Eh? And I might add, show, to start everybody, we want to get good position, you want to control that position to set them up. 
you start with that near leg ride first. And I think that's a key point here you and I were talking about earlier, but catching that control of that leg ride. Right, so I, I don't wanna come through here like this and just catch it and, and hold it. I can flip him through, okay? On top of that, if Ryan has any brains and he's seen this before, even if he doesn't, when I do this, he's gonna sit out, okay? Boom, okay, and then he turns over. And now he's got my back. So even if I have that locked through, he can sit right out if I don't have a hook. He can also Peterson, Peterson roll me pretty easily as well. So case in point, you know, put that hook in. Okay, that, that stalls him long enough so that you can slip the choke in. Can you show that and just set that, set that hook up and then okay. start your move? So even if, I, if he's nice and tight, okay, I can still, pop that in there like that. And then I'm just gonna kind of sit on them here like this. Yeah. Bend your toes, put your knee on the mat. If you can't, I like to rest on the other guy's thigh. And I'm gonna come up, catch, and lock it in. Then post on the head, roll that leg forward, okay? Just pop, pop, pop over there. And I'm gonna drive my knee down and roll. Okay? And that's how you make the roll easy pop that foot out just like we would with a normal head roll juji. Make sense? All right, let's try it. One, two, three.